This is Mr. Ryan again, coming to at you on Thursday, uh, April the 2nd. And I hope you've gotten used to the video classes by now. I think you're going to do well with these. And in my class, we're really doing everything. As long as you'll follow through with me, you'll be done with the homework after we go through each of these videos. So today we're looking at 12.4 which is arithmetic series and sigma notation, which starts in our book on page 538. Now our new symbol now is S sub n, which means the sum of the first n sequence terms, because we're going to be summing up arithmetic sequences today. And again, the definition of a series is the sum of the terms of a sequence. So for example one, we can write and evaluate the sequence series 2 comma 5 comma 11 comma 14 as simply s sub 5 is 2 plus 5 plus 8 plus 11 plus 14 added on your calculator comes to 40 and please make sure you're with doing this with me with your calculator now let's look to sum up the first 100 positive integers and this is done a very clever way by adding up s sub 100 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 all the way up to plus 98, plus 99, plus 100, and then also adding that to doing the same thing backwards. So from 100, plus 99, plus 98, plus dot, 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 down to plus 3, plus 2, plus 1. Now you'll see that if we add each term, each, the term from each series, that we're going to add 1 plus 100 is 101, 2 plus 99 is 101, 3 plus 98 is 101, and you'll see that each term, as we add the two terms together, the new term will be 101, because we're going up by 1 on the top, but down by 1 on the second series. So what we really have is 2 times the S of 100 series is 100 pairs of 101. And so dividing out the 2, I can see I have 100 over 2 times 101, and so there are 50 pairs now of 101. And in general, I can say that S of n, the sum of the first n sequ sequence terms, is n over 2 times the first term plus the last term, because they're going to add up to a constant. So if I do this procedure for the series 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, I would use it now as S sub 5 is 5 over 2, times the first term 2 plus the last term 14, which would give me 5 over 2 times 16, which is 16 over 2 is 8, and 5 times 8 is 40. Okay. Now, extending this sequence to deal with arithmetic sequences in general, we remember from Tuesday on 12.2 that the general sequence term for an arithmetic sequence was a sub n, equals the first term a sub 1 plus n minus 1 d's added on. And that's our general term. Now we're going to substitute that in for a sub n on our series equation. So s sub n is n over 2 times a plus 1 plus a n, which is above a1 plus n minus 1 d. And therefore we have s sub n, the series of the first n terms, is n over 2 times 2a1, adding them together, plus n minus 1d. In example 2, we find s150, the first 150 sequence terms, for the arithmetic sequence 7, 11, 15. So using our equation that we just developed, we would put in s150, is 150 over 2, 2 times the first term, 2 times 7, plus 150 minus 1 times 4, or 75 times 14 plus 149 times 4, in parentheses. And you should get 45,750. Make sure you can get that on the calculator as you follow with me. Now for example 3, find the first three terms of an arithmetic sequence with the S sub 7, the sum of the first seven terms equal 91, and the first term equal to 4. So we use our equation again, S sub 7 is 7 over 2, 2 times the first term, 2 times 4, plus 7 minus 1d. So plugging in for S7, we have S7 is 91 equals 7 over 2 times 8, and 8 over 2 is 4, so that's 
7 times 4 is 28, and 7 over 2 times 60 would be 60 over 2, 7 times 3D, or 21D. Now, subtracting 28 from both sides, I get 63. 91 minus 28 is 63, equals 21D. Dividing 21 by both sides, D, my skip count for adding, is 3. So now I can go back to my first term, A1 equals 4, add 3, to get A2 equals 7, and A2 for A2 is 7, and A3 is 7 plus 3, or 10. So now this sigma notation is going to be just simply that letter sigma, which is a capital sigma in the Greek alphabet. And in math, it means to add up all the sequence elements or add up all the things that it's looking at. So our S sub N now becomes the summation, and this is the way it's read, from K equals 1 to K equals N, A sub K, which is just the same as the shorthand, for a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a plus 3 plus dot 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 all the way up to the last term a plus n. So let's use this in example 4 where it says to expand and evaluate each term. So we have the summation i equals 1 to 5 of k squared which just means adds the first 5 squares. So 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, and 5 squared is 25. And adding them up on the calculator will give us 55. Now the second sequence or series term using sigma notation goes from k equal 2 to k equal 5 of the sequence term negative 4k plus 3. So starting with the term at k equal 2, we would have negative 4 times 2 plus 3, which is negative 8 plus 3 or negative 5. For k equals 3 would be negative 4 times the k, or negative 4 times 3 plus 3, negative 12 plus 3, negative 9. And notice how from negative 5 to negative 9, I've just subtracted 4, which comes from the minus 4k in the sequence term. So it's not a surprise that the next term is negative 13, negative 9 minus 4 is negative 13, and the case of 5 term is negative 17 which you, when you add all those up, comes up to negative 44. On example 5, it says to write a simplified expression for each sequence. So this first one is really one that we've done before. It's the general term. So the summation for k equals 1 to k equals n of k just means to add up the first n positive integers, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot, 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 all the way up to n which is our S of N equals N over 2, the first term plus the last term, 1 plus N, which is usually written in the form N times N plus 1 over 2. Now for the second term, it says to add up the sequence terms from K equals 1 to K equals N of just the constant 7. So all that means is to add 7 to itself N times. So this would just come out to 7n, very easy sequence. Okay, now for our homework, starting at 2, find s sub 7 for each arithmetic sequence, and that'll apply for the first three homework problems. Negative 12, comma, negative 5, comma, 2. You can see negative 5 plus 7 would be 2. So, and also you could do 2 minus negative 5 would be 7. So you can see that our first term, a1, is negative 12, our d is 7, and using our formula, our s sub 7 is 2 times negative 12, the first term, plus 7 minus 1 times 7, or 7 over 2 times negative 24, plus 6 times 7, 42, and 7 over 2 times 18, 18 over 2 is 9, 7 times 9 is 63. Okay, for our problem 4, A1, the first term is 8, the add count is 4, so S sub 7 would be 7 over 2, 8 times, 2 times 8, the first term, plus 7 minus 1 times 4 would be 7 over 2, times 16, plus 6 times 4, 24, 16 plus 24 is 40, 7 over 2 times 40 is 40 over 2, 20 times 7, or 140. Okay. Problem 6, 
The first term that we want is a1 negative 9. The last term that we need is a7 equals negative 45. So here we can do s7 is 7 over 2 times the first plus the last, negative 9 plus negative 45. So that gives us 7 halves times negative 54, which on the calculator you do is 7 divided by 2, parentheses, negative 54 parentheses, and make sure you can get negative 189. On problem 8, all we have is a sequence is composed of just 12s, so all we have if we add up S10 is 10 times 12, or 10 12s, which would be just simply 120. For 10, if we have our first term as 11 and our add count is 13, then S sub 10, the first 10 sequence terms, would add up to 10 over 2, 2 times 11 the first term, plus 10 minus 1 times 13. And using my calculator, 5 parentheses, 22 plus 9 times 13 will be 695. Make sure you can get that. Okay, now for 12, the first term is negative 11. The tenth term is 7. So again, I can use the first plus last in my series term. So the series for the first 10 is 10 over 2. The first plus the last, negative 11 plus 7. 5 times negative 4, a simple negative 20. Okay, now using sigma notation for 14, this is the sum from k equals 1 to k equals 6 of k to the third, or adding up the first 6 cubes. So 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube plus 4 cube plus 5 cube plus 6 cube. Now most of us know it up through 3, 1 plus 8 plus 27, but 4 power 3 would be 64, 5 power 3 would be 125, and 6 power 3 would be 216. So as we add those 6 cubes up, we would get 441. Now on 16, if we're asked to find S sub 7, if our first term A1 is 66 and A2 is 58, then we can get our difference by the second term minus the first, 58 minus 66, or negative 8. So using our series equation, S sub 7 is 7 over 2, 2 times the first term, 66, plus 7 minus 1 times negative 8, or 7 halves times 6 times negative 8 minus 48, 132 minus 48 on the calculator is 84. 7 halves times 84 on the calculator is 294. So 18 to find S sub 10. Now this is a little different. If A sub 3 is 5 and the difference from term to term is minus 3, this time we'll want to work backwards from A sub 3. So instead of subtracting 3 to go forward, we'll add 3 to go backwards. So 5 plus 3 would be 8 for A2, and 8 plus 3 would be 11 for A1, which we need for our formula. So then we could come back to our formula. S sub 10 is 10 over 2, 2 times the first term, plus 10 minus 1 times negative 3, or 5 times 22 minus 27, 5 times negative 5 is negative 25 for 16. Now, or 18. Now, 20, we want to find S sub 12 if A10 is 47 and A12 is 53. Well, if we just figure out that that's A11 would be 50, because I could go from A10, 47 plus 3, up to 50, and then A11, 50 plus 3, to the given A12, I could see that D is 3. Pretty easy to see. Okay, so using the last term from 12, 2 on Tuesday is equal to the first term plus n minus 1d. I need to find a sub 10 is a sub 1 plus 10 minus 3d. And so that gives me 47 for a 10 that's given is equal to a plus 1, which is what I'm trying to find, plus 9 times 327. Subtracting 27 from both sides leave me with a 1 equals 20, which I need for my series form. So now back to S12. S12 is 12 over 2 times 2 times the first term, 2 times 20, which we just found, plus 12 minus 1 times 3, or 6 times 40 plus 33. 6 put times 73 would be 438. Okay, on 22, 
we want to find S10 if the first term is 4 and if S5 is 50. We're going to have to do two series equations here because we can get S5 first is 5 over 10, 2 times the first term 4, plus 5 minus 1 times D. So we're really solving for D here. So knowing that S sub 5 is 50 equals 5 over 2, 8 plus 4 D. So 5 over 2 times 8 is 5 times 4, 20. And 5 over 2 times 4 is 4 over 2 times 2 times 5, or 10 D. And if we subtract 30 from both sides, we get 20 from both sides, 50 minus 20. We have, we're left with 10 D equals 30, divide by 10, D equals 3. Now we can get what we want. We can get S10 because now we know what D is. So S10, we had to do this indirect way to get the final answer. Is 10 over 2, 2 times the first term, 4, but now we know plus 10 minus 1 times the D, which we just found first, equals 5 times 8 plus 9 times 3, 27, and 5 times 8 plus 27 in parentheses is 175. Okay, for 24, S sub 12, if S sub 3 is 21, S sub 4 is 32, S sub 5 is 45. Now, if we take S sub 4, which is A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4, and subtract S3, which is A1 plus A2 plus A3, you can do that yourself and see that all that would be left would be A4. So I can track the sum, subtract the sum, 32 minus 21 equals 11. That gives me A4. And I can do the same thing for A5. A5 is the sum of 5 minus the sum of 4, leaving me just the fifth term, or 45 minus 32, which is 13. Now I can work backwards again from A4. So since I'm going up on A4 to A5 by an add by 2, I can subtract by 2 and say 11 minus 2 is 9 for A3 and 9 minus 2 is 7 for A2 and 7 minus 2 is 5, which is what we were after for A1. Now I can come and get my S sub 12 is 12 over 2, 2 times the first term 5, which we found, plus 12 minus 1 times 2 or 6 times 10 plus 11 times 222 which the calculator shows comes out to 192. And this concludes our Thursday lesson on 12.4, Arithmetic Sequences in the Sigma Notation.